I'm Ellie, I'm a member of the consultant team here at Finn. This is a short video to show you how to create and edit your profile information on the Finn portal to be published on the public website. Here's the process. To demonstrate how to edit a profile, I'm going to impersonate a consultant using a test account. Once I'm logged in, I can click your profile on the homepage. The profile is pre-populated with basic information provided to Finn by the General Medical Council. This includes the full name and GMC number, which can't be changed. The more information we can put in the profile, the better our consultant will look to any patients looking them up. So I'm going to add some more information about them and their practice. I'll start by adding an image of the consultant to their profile by clicking Add next to the profile photo icon and then select Image. I'll make sure the image is a professional photograph, it's in JPEG format and no larger than 500 pixels. Once I've selected an image, I'll click open. I can move the image to fit into the frame. Once I'm happy with how the photograph looks, I'll click select. Next, we'll enter a contact number. This is the number that will be published on the website. We can enter a mobile or a landline number as well as an email address for patients to contact the consultant on. I'm now going to enter the consultant's specialty and subspecialty information in the fields provided. Next, I'm going to write some detail about the consultant's clinical interests and a personal biography, making sure to include where the consultant qualified, their work history and any relevant personal information. Towards the bottom of the page, I can edit the hospitals where the consultant works. This consultant no longer works at one of these sites, so I can click Exclude to remove this site from the list. Lastly, I can enter another contact number. This is the one for the members of the FIN team in case there is anything they need to flag with the consultant. We can enter a mobile or a landline number. Either is fine, but we must make sure there is a number here in order to move forwards. I'm finished editing the consultant's profile, so I can preview how this will appear on the website by clicking Preview. I am happy with how this consultant's profile will look and the information I've given, so I can submit this by clicking Submit Profile. The profile will then be sent to a member of the FIN team for approval. Thank you for watching our short video on creating our profile information on the FIN portal. I have walked you through how to add any additional information about your clinical practice, including adding a photograph and excluding any hospitals which you no longer practice at. If you require further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us at consultants at